I'm going to show you a shortcut that will reduce the lines of code significantly. Remember this one? You pick a color and you change it. Well, let's go look at the code. We're going to go make some changes right here in the get color object from combo box method. If you remember, a string comes in and out comes a color object. Let's make sure. Okay, here's the name of it. A string comes in, an object out. And you can see a fair amount of code here. So you pass in a string that is in the combo box, being beige, brown, green, blue, yellow. And you can see it's quite lengthy. I'm happy to report that C Sharp has a built-in feature to help us with this. If you remember, that we have methods. So what we can do is say color to return equals color dot from name. And it takes a string. Okay? So what happens is you pass in a string, blue, green, orange, aqua. And we take what was passed in and we ask C sharp. Get me a color from the string name and return it into this color object. So I call a method here. So what I can actually do is make this code very, very tight and concise. I went from multiple lines down to one. Let's make sure that will work. I'm kind of excited to show this. So this is the power of using objects that can make your life easier. All right, so a string comes in. We ask C Sharp to find the color from the string name we pass in. We return the color object out. Let's put a breakpoint here. Let's see if this works. Okay, let's choose Aqua. We come in here. Code has not changed yet. I'm hitting F11. Remember, debug step into the method. Here we go. We ask it to find the color for aqua. And I step through. I come out. The color from here comes out, gets assigned here. And beautiful. Look how easy that is. And we're going to run through the code. I get brown. I, the only caveat is, and I'll show you, is if you do color dot and you come up with all the known colors such as Alice blue, antique white, aqua blue, aquamarine, it will only work if you give it exactly like this including no spaces. So let's just show you real quick. Let's go back here. Let's click here. Let's go to the items. This will work if I type Alice blue, the name that matches exactly. If I do this it will not work. Let's try. See how easy that was? I add it there. We run it. Alice blue at the top. We step through the code. And that's Alice blue, which is very hard to see, but a very light blue. So being a programmer means that you sometimes have to not write everything, but leverage what is already available to you.